What is going on guys, Chris aka Beast Mode 718 coming at you from the Guap Drop. And today, got another tutorial coming for you guys, getting you guys ready to cook. And today, we're going to be going after Supreme. So, let's go after MacPream. MacPream has been the best when it comes to Supreme for a while now. It is a go-to bot for anyone that's trying to go after Supreme. So, this with the, with the season in full effect, figured let's go ahead and give this one to you. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when we come out with videos. Coming out with a lot of videos from sneaker botting to anything in the sneaker reselling or sneaker community in general. A lot of videos that uh, should be coming out here within the next couple weeks of us going to sneaker shows and uh, really cashing out. My cousin's going to be all over that. So keep an eye out for that. He's got a big show coming up this weekend and a lot of things coming up in the, in the tri-state area over here. So definitely keep an eye out. Also check out nocturnal proxies i've been with them for a while they've been sponsoring me now for you know going on i guess close to a year i guess somewhere around there uh, if you guys are looking for really good residential proxies isp proxies and your uh they even have retail uh, isps if you guys are following the collectible craze when it comes to trading cards getting after walmart or getting after the gpus check them out solid solid proxies don't just take my word for it. Go ahead and check their success page and their Twitter and uh, let it speak for itself. Shout out to Nocturnal. Also, shout out to Cook Alerts. Cook Alerts is my cook group. I've been a part of Cook Alerts for about three years now. I've been partnered up for almost a year. They are the group to go to if you guys are starting out botting and you need that guidance all the way up to that advanced botter that just has an active community that is there to really just bounce ideas off of each other and maybe adjust on drop days if you're running your bots. And uh, they are the group that's, <laughs> they are the best group I've been a part of. I tell people all the time, I reached out to them for the partnership and I've been a part of probably going on 10 different cook groups from the beginning when I started botting to my only cook group that I'm a part of right now. You know, I, I can't be happier that I've gotten not only a good group, but just good people. So if you guys are interested in that, they are a closed group. They only release a certain amount of memberships. So if you want to get in, I have the link down below use it that'll get you right in there they are a tier one group and they have one-on-one -on -one support unlike all these other giant groups that are just you get in there for the name and that's about it but shout out to cook alert shout out to credo and the fam check them out if you're interested all links are down below so let's go on and let's get on to mech prime all right so let's get into it so we're going to start off in the settings tab we'll go from here um, and uh, we, we see we have a capture harvester count and a capture solver on the right if you click that on that will go ahead and enable the AYCD auto solve that's the third-party capture that's involved with um, mech Prem that's going to be integrated you would just put your token access right here and your AYCD API key right there make sure you hit that save if that's something you want to do capture harvester right here this is big for your gmails obviously you need those good gmails with that 0.9 score um, if you don't know what a 0.9 score is it is the most human-like um, gmail that there is that enables you uh, to get a certain amount of one click so one click is you know one you have a capture you click I am a human and then you're good to go it's gonna make the process faster so we'll just go with one for right now I'm gonna go into sign up because I'm not logged into any if you're already logged in and you've been using the spot you could just hit default and it'll save so let's go to sign up here if it's your first time using it I'm gonna drag this over from my other window and this is it right here so it says reset harvest test so what you would do right here is you'd go right here and go to Gmail you would go ahead and log into your Gmail it's open right here you would log in right there you could also test your score right here you're looking for that test to be you know a very good number at a 0.9 to be the most um, human like like we said before so after that's all done in, if, they, if you had this for the last drop, let's say you could clear the cookies, uh, you could go ahead and insert a specific proxy here if you want to. Make sure after everything's done, apply, and then you're going to be good to go. I'm going to move that off to the side over here, and uh, pretty simple to move in. Here's your Discord webhook. If you want to go ahead and have your success sent to your Discord webhook or your fails, you can put it in right here. Make sure to go ahead and test it out. 
beforehand and this will just beam the information to your discord if you don't know how that is there's plenty of youtube videos on it very simple uh, if you want just your success sent you can go ahead and click this or off and that will go ahead and tell you if something failed it's always a good idea to have if something failed because you can tell like it's a payment issue blah 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 so we'll let that go clear logs that'll just clear all the information within the bot and uh it all everything that was logged in the uh in the bot will be gone expiration dates right here reopen after uh renew and the renewal of a hundred dollars for every six months right here pretty basic right let's go to proxies so we go to proxies here you see you can either you have a, i mean it's very basic you can either go here add your own proxy list you can put it right here plug that in and you'd go ahead and add your proxies right here hit save and you'd be good to go or you can go ahead and come right here go to these actions <coughs> and you can go ahead and check this out um go to add proxies within default hit the pencil button hit this save proxy these are all bad proxies but you could go ahead and test this just like so as you can see it has three proxies it's going to probably time out here uh none of them work so they're timed out so obviously it doesn't work here we're going to go ahead and delete these just run it on default um but that's very simplistic nothing crazy going on here let's move on to profiles profiles <coughs> profiles uh again very easy nothing crazy the only thing is if you guys are making a whole bunch of profiles the best thing i would say that you should do is going to be to go ahead and export the profiles if you are a type of person that goes ahead and is renting a lot of bots hit that export right here you can go ahead and save the file you can save the file on your desktop let's say you go ahead and have to give them a mech premium back you go ahead and go to import profile and you could go ahead and just have all the information put right back on there very simple there's nothing special to it go to add billing and you would just put all of your information in here obviously this is all fake information so you would put that in uh and that is your billing info um very simple obviously with supreme billing and um your actual shipping address needs to be the same so that's why it's all the same so that's good to go we'll keep that example and we'll go to task this is a bread and butter right here you have the opportunity to go ahead and change the date change the time to when you want to go ahead and run this uh, if you want to do a schedule drop if that's your thing go for it if you want to do that just make sure this is on and then you select that date you have add task delete all stop all start all let's go ahead and go to add task so we're going to go to task name we'll go to test profile we'll just use the u.s test profile we'll stay with the air force and that's how you would put the information in plus keyword comma plus force comma and then you put even a uh, comma negative for negative keywords uh, proxy list we have that default or the local host who use the local host category uh, if we're going after air force we're going to go after shoes random color you have the black and white you'd put it right here and you could either just put black or white uh, however the release guide specifies sizes however you want to go right here just remember that you're going to be doing one size at a time for the tasks so it's not going to be like a range uh, quantity there you go uh, however many you want that's on you and this is pretty important here so you have browser safe browser normal browser headed api in-store sign up and monitor obviously import in-store sign up is where if you live in new york city or la you can go ahead and uh, pick up the items if you win the in-store sign up but this is what i want to focus on is the browser safe normal and headed now i'm not going to tell you why to use one over the other this is going to be something that your cook group is going to guide you on and then the release guide uh from mech Prime. Um, follow that stuff to a T but this is what I do want to let you guys know so when we look up here it says maximum browser is going to be uh, the task numbers for maximum pro browser is 16 this is because it's going to put a strain on your computer and it's it's intensive when it comes to um, pulling data from your computer so it's going to slow down your computer if you do more than that 16 so if you're going to do browser safe normal if you decide that's what's going to happen this drop make sure you split those up if you want to do it 50 50 or 25 75 that's your thing but just realize that is why it's telling you only 16 and you might be wondering oh well maybe i could run it it could crash and ruin a drop for you so keep that in mind that's this is going to be something that you're going to have to you know talk to your cook group about see what max saying for that week and then go on there 
capture bypass, you can select that right here if you want to. Like I said, I'm not going to give you advice. This is strictly what, you know, whatever the release guide is saying. Retry on failure. That's, uh, again, whatever you want to do there. And 3D bypass, that's an EU thing. I'm not really sure what that is, but that's what you have. So we'll say capture bypass and retry on failure. Uh, we'll go, let's put this in, we'll put black. We'll, we'll put both of these here. And uh, let's give it a go. Let's create. So there we are. As you can see, it creates in the background. So if you want to go ahead and come in here and change the size from random, which I put to, I don't know, um, six and a half, you can go ahead and do that too. So that's out of the way. Just click anywhere out here that'll drop. And as you can see, we have two browser safe modes. Um, we have the US test profile going after the Air Force Ones. One is gonna be a random size. One is gonna be a six and a half. We have two blacks, localhost proxies I'm running on. Status is gonna be idle and that's it. Um, before we go on and I'll run through this, um, we gotta take a look over here real quick. So you have a data save and release mode. So a release release mode for the, you know, you're gonna be using that for your drop. The way you'd wanna go ahead and get rid of this, this if you click that off, that's more or less if there's gonna be restocks and the antibot software for Supreme is they call it Ticket. So if Ticket is is down, you could go ahead and this is more or less if it's unselected, it's gonna be restock mode. Data saved, that's if you want the data saved and logged, you can go ahead and do that, click on and off. So you also have that option as well. Down here is your on the go, basically your uh, link change for everything. You would just go ahead in here, put in here, just put the keyword right there, very simplistic, and hit that keyword right there for the monitor changers as well. If you know they're telling you drop the drop the monitor down to 500. Do it right here check out go ahead and up the delays whatever you can also do that right here this is all and make sure you click and click this is all based on your cook group or your guidance that you're getting from mech Prime. so your cook groups getting the guidance from mech Prime. so that's where that's coming from it's not out of nowhere monitor that would show you that the monitor is active and if you, if you see we'll run this real quick and show you um the ticket is true that means it has solved the problem the way you know it's kind of explained is ticket is the antibot software so when it is red that means that it is up and the bot is working to basically solve the problem that the bot is the antibot software is putting out there so when it's red that means it's working when it's green that means it solved the problem so let's see here you can go ahead and either start all or stop all but let's go right here we'll go ahead and start this first one this is a browser task so it's preparing the browser and this one's out of uh, stock so as you can see the monitor is false the ticket is true it solved it antibot software is not up and it is good to go when we go down here take a quick look as you can see the monitor is true that means it is it is definitely going it's showing and its size isn't found so if we look because we're going to see the monitor change as well when i i click the start button here and what it's doing it's monitoring trying to find it and once it finds it you'll see what happens so it's true it's true the monitor's working 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 finds it it does, it's not working anymore because you found it so just understand that um that the monitor is basically working uh, when it's green, it's working, and it shuts off when it finds it. The ticket true is that's when it has solved the problem. Now, while these two are running, you could also go into the settings right here. You can du duplicate it and duplicate it and do it however you want, however many times you need to do. Mass link change down here, very basic, nothing crazy. That's practically it. The big thing with this, so you guys aren't you know, having major issues on the drop day, is follow the release guide to a T. Just follow it and follow the guidance. And if you need to do anything on the, on, uh, on the fly, which is, you know, if you wanna go ahead and if you see a whole bunch of checkouts, you could come right in here and change the keyword, which is, you know, a normal thing that you would do. But a big thing is gonna be really the keyword. If that's something that is checking out, you can go ahead and do that. But one of the bigger things that's gonna happen, it's gonna be the checkout delays. And uh, that's what the, uh, you know, anti-bot software going on and off. So that's it. It's a simple bot. As you can see, copped is right here. I got nothing in here. I uh, haven't been copping Supreme at all this year. I haven't been going after it, but um, I had it and I wanted to show you guys. It's a very simple bot. If you could take anything away from this is the task numbers in the browsers. This is a bot that will strain your computer because of those browser tasks. And those browser tasks can be very good. Just make sure you don't go over doing it because you're going to waste your whole drop and then next thing you're like shit i gotta wait for next week 
chances are that Supreme next week might not be so good and you're going to be waiting two or three weeks for the next drop. So just my suggestion. If you guys do need help with botting, I do one-on-one bot consultations. If you guys are interested, check out my Instagram page. Check out the testimonials on my first post on there that's labeled testimonials. I am at Sneaker Bot Consulting on Instagram. Feel free to message anyone that's done a course with me. I've done plenty, so go ahead and give them a, a shout, and uh, I'm sure they'll give you a honest opinion. Make sure to check out the links below for Nocturnal Proxies and Cook Alerts. Good luck this season with Supreme. Make sure you're only going after items that you feel that are going to be going for money and they don't brick. Uh, or if you're getting at personals, get those personals. Mech Prem has been king for a couple seasons now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Not much to it, but at least if you guys were thinking about it, maybe you're not as intimidated as you thought you were going to be with this bot and you could see how simplistic it is. But see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.